Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel and this series where we aim to take electronic circuit concepts and demonstrate them in a practical manner to make what seems as an abstract idea in the fields of electronics and electrical engineering and make it more tangible and easy to understand. This video is the first part of a two-part video that aims to take a look at one of the most fundamental and most basic concepts in analyzing circuits and its voltage and current division. This video aims to look at current divider rule and applications of current division. In our next video, we will be looking at voltage divider rule and its applications. Understanding these rules is an essential thing for any beginner in electronics as they allow us to calculate voltage and current values in complex circuits. So without further ado, let's get started. But before diving into these concepts, I'd like to clarify that this video assumes that the viewer is familiar with nodes, meshes, loops, and branches. If you're not, you can check out my video on this topic. Also, this is a follow-up video with regards to series and parallel circuit connections. So if you need a refresher on circuit connections, I recommend you watch my video on the topic. In this video, we will be looking at the current divide rule. Remember that circuits can be connected in many ways. The most simplest forms of circuit connections are parallel circuits and series circuits. These two basic connection methods can then be combined to create more complex series parallel circuits. Let's start with reviewing the basics of parallel circuits and what we've learned so far about them. Parallel circuits are circuits with components connected in a manner where they, are, they share two nodes. Therefore, the same voltage is applied across parallel components. Current, however, is divided at that specific node. To calculate parallel resistance, we use the following equation. As we know from what we've learned in the series, current is divided in parallel circuits. So let's go ahead and take a look at current division in parallel circuits and the derivation of the current divider rule, or CDR, equation. In our last two videos, we verified that current divides while flowing through parallel circuits and that voltage remains the same across parallel elements. Now, let's consider the circuit below with multiple elements in parallel. An n number of resistors in parallel to the power supply to be precise. We know that and we have verified that all voltages across parallel elements are the same. Therefore, if we'd like to find the voltage across Rn, then it would be equivalent to the voltage of the input or power supply, which is applied across the resistors in parallel, which is also equal to the voltage on the equivalent total parallel resistance. Say we'd like to find the current flowing through Rn. Using the equation in our previous slide, we can say that V total equals VRN. Substituting Ohm's law in place of V total gives I total times R total. And substituting Ohm's law in place of VRN gives IN into RN. Therefore, IN can be figured out by the following equation where IN is equal to the R total over RN into I total, where R total is the equivalent parallel resistance and can be calculated as follows, and I total can be calculated as shown. Therefore, we have a shortcut to use in our analysis to find the current on parallel elements. Rather than performing KCL on a certain node, we can directly obtain the current on a specific resistor through using the current divider rule. Generally, the current divider rule is given as follows. Where Rx is the resistance in a parallel circuit that we are trying to find the current flowing through, 
and R total is the equivalent parallel resistance, and I total is the current on the equivalent parallel resistance. Now, current dividers are very important and are widely used in the design of electrical circuits. So let's take a look at some of the applications of current dividers. Current dividers are necessary to distribute current to various components in a specific portion. Some examples of where, we can, where they can be found are in digital logic gates, signal, signal processing circuits, and power distribution networks. In digital logic gates and digital electronics, current dividers are used to control the flow of current through different branches thereby affecting the overall output of the logic gate. As for in applications in signal processing circuits, current dividers help manage the current flow to ensure the correct functioning of individual components, thereby maintaining signal integrity. And last but not least, current dividers are very important in power distribution networks. They are crucial to ensure that the right amount of current is delivered to various appliances or components in a circuit to ensure safe and efficient power usage. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one where we look at voltage division in series circuits and the different applications. As always, thank you for watching.